If you use hardware, you probably already use the toolbox in SOLIDWORKS. Hardware is something that's used at some level in just about every design. But what about the more specialized items that you use all the time? The design library is a great way to save time by using it as a central location to store items that you use regularly. No matter what industry you work in, there are probably certain features that you use over and over again. And in a lot of cases, those features have components that go with them in an assembly. Taking advantage of the design library is easy. SOLIDWORKS includes a lot of things in the design library with the installation that you can browse, and you can even add a location on your network or hard drive. I'll add a cutout for a power connector. One of the easiest ways to do this is to take it directly from another design that already has it. As a side note, you can always copy features from one part to another simply by holding down the control key and clicking and dragging it onto the other part. But by adding to the design library, you never have to look for the part that has the feature you're looking for. Here's how to do it. First, I'll pin the design library on my screen and browse to the folder I want to add it. Next, just click on the feature and drag it into the library. I'll give it a name. And notice here at the bottom that SOLIDWORKS is saving this as a design library feature. When I click OK, SOLIDWORKS asks if I would like to have it create a simplified version of the part. It asks this since you don't need all of the other features on the part for this library feature to exist. I'll click No for now, and when I do, you can see a preview of it in the library. This makes it quick to add the cutout. When I do, SOLIDWORKS asks for the edges to locate the cutout. Once the cut's added, you can adjust its location simply by editing the sketch. And if you already have its corresponding part in the library, you can add that one quickly as well. Once you have your design library built up with your most commonly used items, you'll find your designs coming together faster and faster. In addition to the features and components we added here, you can also add entire assemblies or sub-assemblies, sketches, blocks, drawing annotations, and even simulation elements like springs and motors. One last thing. Throughout this video, you may have noticed how certain components snapped right together. If you'd like to learn how to do this, check out the Time Saver tip on Mate References. Thank you. This has been a SOLIDWORKS Time Saver.